One of the most striking benefits we've gained from the relationship with Amazon and working with AWS is our ability now to tap into scale of infrastructure. We're not having to invest in uh, Big Tin anymore and that's dramatically reduced our capital expenditure. So a lot of times when people think of the cloud, they say, well, it's less expensive, it's, it's easier to get up and running. But I think what's more important is that the innovation helps us do things faster and it makes things practically feasible that were never av available to us before. We chose AWS over other infrastructure providers for two reasons. One is the maturity of the capabilities within their cloud environment. The second is the cost. It's by far the lowest cost infrastructure. We chose AWS because we wanted the ability to deploy elastically in the cloud and to handle changes and variances in the demand of our application and to handle that when it was needed. We did a full evaluation of uh, Amazon Web Services and a few other vendors. Uh, and we found that Amazon was, in fact, three to four years ahead of anyone else that we had evaluated. It would have been very hard for us to scale as quickly without AWS. We've got about 8 billion objects in our S3 buckets and about uh, 410 terabytes of last count of data being stored there. It's important for us to be able to add thousands of servers and terabytes of storage um, at minutes notice. We've actually increased our level of reliability by more than an order of magnitude. Amazon Web Services to us was really about making a, a potentially expensive product affordable uh, for us and our customers. We have definitely saved on the order of millions of dollars by running in the cloud. We definitely see a, a, a continued value in using the cloud um, because of the flexibility, because of the scalability, and because uh, it allows us to, uh, to do those things very easily. What will you run in the AWS cloud?